Hi HCC. Matt asked us to read the survey that uh, Dave Day carried out a little while ago and to um, give our response to it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, first of all, although we've said it before, it's worth saying again, we hold you guys in great affection and um, you've been such an encouragement to us over the years. I hope we have also uh, helped to encourage you. You're in our prayers every day uh, and we feel very connected uh, to you, to what God is doing in Highworth. Um, as far as I'm concerned, reading the survey, one thing strikes me uh, that I see and one thing that I don't see. Uh, the thing that I don't see is complacency. Um, and obviously that's a good thing. Uh, because when a church feels it's arrived or feels that it no longer needs to change or um, feels that yeah everything is fine and we can just carry on, uh, that's a huge uh, um, warning. That's a, a very difficult place uh, for a church to be. And I don't pick that up from your survey. On the other hand, it's worth noting that because you aren't complacent, because you do want more of God, because you do want to hear what he's saying and do what he's telling you, there will be, and there are in the survey, tensions and questions and things that need clarifying that perhaps were clear in the past, but need to be re-clarified. And that's just part of growth. And that's just part of responding to uh, what God is saying to you uh, as people mature, as new people join, uh, as people step into new areas. Uh, it's like having kids around the house. There's always a bit of mess. There's always a bit of difficulty. There's always things that need to change. Um, but uh, there isn't, I don't pick up complacency, but you need to recognise that as you grow and as you change and as you mature and as you step into more of God, there will always be uh, a degree of having to change things, having to re-clarify, uh, having to step into new areas. The thing that I do see, um, or one of the things that I do see, is a desire for um, more knowledge of the Bible and to spend more time studying the Bible. And I was really delighted to see this. I think you're uh, bang on with what God is saying. Um, I, I think quite a few people are feeling that in a time where truth itself is under threat, where all manner of crazy ideas and fads and memes are flying around, we need more than ever to know uh, what the word of God is. And the Bible, make no mistake, is the authoritative inspired word of God. It's not just a book. Um, if we want to know what God is thinking, if we know, want to know how God thinks, if we want to know how he sees us and how he sees the world, the first place we need to go uh, is scripture. So it's great to see uh, several of you saying, yes, I'd like, to, I'd like more Bible study. So what I would say to you is read it, memorise it, study it, sing it, uh, Read it slowly, read it fast, read it in groups, read it in meetings. Uh, but yes, uh, I, I would underline and welcome that uh, enormously. Hi guys, um, just to say amen to what Andrew said about the fact that it's so encouraging to see you developing as a church and growing and becoming, becoming more of what God wants you to be. Um, at least that's how we that's what we perceive interesting to read the questionnaires um and andrew told me i was getting a bit researchy in the way i was analyzing it so i've put that to one side to try and just concentrate on the things that stood out to me one of the things that stood out was that the the people who were suggesting what about some more bible study and teaching and more emphasis on the bible were also the people who had been digging deeper into their own individual quiet times with God. Whereas there were also people who were saying actually quiet times and individual times with God have been a real struggle 
those people were saying the kind of requests for more pastoral work to be happening, more pastoral focus, perhaps more groups that attended to various needs that they perceived in church. Um, and I think those kind of questions and expressions of need come out, as Andrew said, in the general mess of church life because we're a bunch of human beings. But I suppose it mm, got me thinking about the correlation between what we put in and what comes out. Um, a bit like food, you know, if you eat loads of rubbish, then it's really a good way to become a fairly unhealthy human being. So I suppose I'm feeling a bit simplistic about this. If if you want to see more of um, more of what God's identity is in you, then you need to put more of God in. So more of God's word, more time in God's presence, more um, absorbing the, the I don't know, the, the conversation that you might hear amongst the, you know, amongst the people of God and letting that affect you, change you and develop you in your journey onward because that's that will also create more of Highworth Church. It will create more of God's kingdom strategies being established in the here and now. Um, and it will definitely create more assurance in who you are called to be in this season. So that's that's me adding my to Pennyworth. Um, and also just to say blessings on you, each and every one of you. We hold you dear. There we go. Amen. Amen.